Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for mo it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to give you an overview on the new AUV free effect from Iceworks. So developer Satoshi, it's a um, really fantastic effect and um, yes, I have also a code to give away, just check the uh, description. And before I forget, uh, please remember to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. So I'm inside the AUM and let's create an audio channel. And why not? Let's use as an audio uni extension as an input red strike from uh, Iceworks as well. And um, let's um, enable the AUM keyboard and let's initialize the sound. So we have an initialized patch or preset. Yeah, that will do for nice. Okay, perfect. So let's select uh, as uh, an uh, audio uni extension for insert effects, uh, Kajita. So you heard our red strike sound as uh, um, an initialized sound. So let's, so let's try again. Okay, and now let's introduce Kajita. So, and let's open Kajita. So as you can see, very, very busy as an interface, but really a phenomenal um, effect, really, delay and reverb effect. And I will explain in a moment. So let's hide that keyboard and let's maximize these. As you can see, when uh, you have a lot of screen state, it will give you also at the bottom these uh, visibility or main parameters which is really nice however if you don't have that luxury and um, you have just the um keyboard um opened and you want to maximize the screen you'll st you see a nice representation of uh, the interface like so and then you can use your uh, mouse or finger to scroll to the right hand side and you have again on the right hand side all the main controls um, and before I continue, also let me say that I'm using an iPad 8th generation. So, uh, you know, also what type of hardware is being uh, um, used uh, to play the effect. So if you look at, at the DSP here in percentage, so, you know, that uh, 33, 35 uh, percent of the DSP utilization, it is with an iPad 8th generation running iOS 14. <clears throat> so, okay, so let's um, give you an overview of this fantastic effect. As you can see, it is a two stages delay. You have a pre-delay here, and you also have a main delay there, okay? You have your input level coming in here. You can bypass, of course, the effect. Let's bypass it. And the reason that you can hear it is because here on the right hand side, you have your dry um knob turned on you have also your wet knob turned on so you can use those to change the output sounds okay and this of course uh, it is for this preset called kajita okay so what you can also see here is that you have a saturator in the middle as well in the pre-delay you have also early refraction which follow this path really nice and then in the main delay, you also have eight um, tops. So the first one is a, a feedback. You have then also a cross feedback. You have a cross top. And then you have other five top. One, two, three, four, five. And these five last tops are uh, split into two groups. The top groups, one to three, goes through a filter here. And you have further parameter clicking on it, like so. And uh, the other two instead that goes here at the bottom through the uh, panel, which you can further configure. And as you can see down here at the bottom, you have a reverb, but you can see the signal coming in here from the pre-delay, going through this way, going inside the pre-delay, sent to reverb, and then going through here, and um, directly to the output. And as you can see, see here from the top early reflection you can open the gate here 
so that it comes down here directly to the reverb and then you can mix as well delay um, here one and two coming directly from the multi taps from the main stage delay and you can add them up to early reflection and also combine all of them to go directly to the reverb so you have a lot of different uh, functionality and different parameters so it looks complicated it is a bit intimidating the first time you use it but actually when you learned the controls and um, is really straightforward and you can use the fantastic diagram representation to follow through what is happening and of course you can also use the selection of those main parameters for the pre-delay here for the main delay and the reverb itself let me play some preset first and then we try a little bit the effects uh, give you a little bit more an in-depth overview so really nice Okay. Okay, let's try a few more. Nice reverb. And this effect is great for a spatial effect. Okay, try a few more. And you can hear the tail, really nice. And here you can hear the multi-taps in action for the delay, which is really nice. Really, really nice. A few more. Really, really great. So let's uh, open up the selection of the factory preset. Let's click on uh, new uh, there. Okay, let me show you a little bit uh, more about how it works. So first of all, you can see here underneath the saturator. So let's turn that down to minimal. Therefore you don't hear any more delay effects. Now let's take the reverb here that you can see is coming out from the pre-delay. Okay, you can also con configure here. I will show you it in a moment. It goes through this path here. It goes here to the this pre-delay knob and then it goes inside the reverb itself. At the moment you don't hear reverb because this dial which says reverb under the mix section is turned off. So let's increase that. So now you start to hear the reverb. And of course you can further customize it. You go inside here, just as an example, you increase the uh, room size, for example, a little bit the tail as well. And of course, if you want to have more wet effect and also more dry effect, just change it. Really, really nice. <clears throat> now, let me show you straight away that you can change some parameters so you click on the reverb here you can uh, change the modes which is the timing range so let's set this to uh, one second so you can hear the delay of one second and you can further customize here uh, the delay for left and right and you can also add modulation which is really really nice So you can hear that straight away. So let's double click on the control to actually uh, set that back to default. Okay, so you see straight away how you can mix reverb and um, with the incoming sound. Um, let's take, for example, early reflection now, which are coming out from the delay, pre-delay, sorry, stage going up here. And um, we could let them go directly to the output like so. Or we can also add them to the reverb, like so. Really nice. Let's 
turn <clears throat> these controls off like so. And now let's uh, insert, um, why not, some delay. So let's open up the saturator. And of course it's coming from here, you can see this knob is open, which is coming from this delay from the pre-delay stage. Of course, it goes going through the saturator, it's going through the main delay, and then you have uh, a, an exit here on top. You see the level is uh, already on for top number one. So it's going through here, through filters, and then through here, and then uh, this knob is open, so it allows the um, delay go through. Of course, we can have that to be mixed with uh, the reverb, like so. Or we can act on the filter here, for example. So let's have more resonance. Change the cutoff. More wet. You can also have some modulation, why not? Change the rate as well. Really, really nice. As you can see, when um, you know how to use it, it is pretty straightforward. And what I really like as well is this diagram representation, which actually compared to other controls or other effects uh, or controls in effect, I think this is actually something I prefer because you can clearly see what is happening with uh, uh, the sound signal. You can see also you have a, a feedback on the pre-delay, which is really nice. And to have that as well. So, and you can, in, you have a panel here, you can set also panel modulation here and you can change the rate as well, which is really cool. So you can have a cutoff frequency resonance drive here for the mix, um, so for, <clears throat> sorry, for the filter um, part of the effect here coming from top one, two, three. So really, really good with early refraction delays, multi-tops, uh, reverbs, feedbacks uh, and notice you have a feedback here as well so you can create very very unique uh, um, effects with um, any sounds you have as an input okay i'm going to stop here for this uh, overview of kajita from uh, iceworks so really fantastic effect i definitely recommend it is really really good nice uh, great special effects and i hope you enjoyed found this useful see you in the next tutorial thank you bye